Yannick Sinner versus Novak Djokovic is the final of the Shanghai Masters for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Djokovic entered the tournament as a number four seed and will get a buy in the first round. In the second round, they take on Mickelson. And after saving multiple set points in the second set, Djokovic would win in straight. 7-6-7-6. Seven, six, seven, six. In the third round, he take on Kaboli, 28th seed who just beaten Vavrinka in the previous round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-1-6-2. Six, six, in the fourth round, he take on Tafulin. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6-3-6-2 six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the unseeded Menzik, who'd been very impressive this week. And Dropping the first set, Djokovic would fight back to win 6 7 6 1 6 4 to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, Djokovic would take on Fritz, the number seven seed, a man that he'd beaten nine times in a row, including a match earlier this year in Australia. And after saving a set point in the second set, Djokovic would win in straights 6 4 7 6 to advance to the final. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Daniel, but this was no problem getting through in straights 6 1 6 4. In the third round, he'd take on Echeverry, the number 31 seed, and this was tough. After losing the first set, Sinner would fight back to win 6 7 6 4 6. In the fourth round, he take on Shelton, the 14th seed, a man that had beaten him in Shanghai this time last year in the same round. And this was close. Both guys holding serve for the majority of the match, but Sinner getting through in straights, 6 4 7 6, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Medvedev, the number five seed, a man that he'd beaten so many times this year, including the US Open on hard courts a couple of months ago. But unfortunately, Medvedev was a little bit down and a little bit sore with a shoulder, allowing Sinner to get the easy win, 6 1 6 4, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sinner would take on the number 30 seed, Bahatch who had taken out Alcaraz along the way. And after a close second set, Sinner would win in straights. 6-4-7-5 to advance to the final. These guys have played seven times before, with Djokovic leading 4-3 in the head-to-head. -head. However, Sinner has won three of their last four matches, which were all on hard courts. So Sinner's got to be feeling pretty confident, especially considering his re record this year as well, on hard courts to get this win. Taking a look at the shot quality from Tennis Insights. Starting with the serve, Sinner with a slight advantage with an 8.7 to Djokovic's 8.2. On the returns, they're dead even with a 7.8. However, Djokovic on the ground strokes with a forehand is just ahead of Sinner with a 9.3 to Sinner's 9.2. And on the backhand is at 8.6 with Sinner at 8.4. So the tournament averages are very, very similar between these two, but it all come down to whether or not Djokovic's hip is going to bother him and whether or not that's going to affect his serve and his backhand throughout the match. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. Really interesting matchup. I think the Djokovic fitness is probably what's going to maybe decide this match. But I have to go with Sinner in this one in three sets. I reckon Djokovic might be able to sneak the first set, but I just got Sinner winning this one. He's been so good on hard courts in general. I know Djokovic is the hard court king, but in 2024, Sinner's got the throne. I reckon he gets the win in Shanghai. But let me know down in the comments below who you got winning the title.